praise the living God. Praise you, Jesus. I thank God. I thank mighty King for my life. I thank God that he found me. I thank Jehovah God. Many were called the few were chosen. My name is Philomena Abiyua Eriyo. I hail from Nigeria, particularly I come from Edo State, come from Beni City, I come from the village called um, Ekubo, and it's from Umwonde local government of Nigeria. I came to live in England 28 years back, and haven't lived in this God-given country where God brought me for a purpose. And at this present age, I am now 52, a mother of a wonderful daughter called Naomi. When I turned 50, I asked the Lord, you brought me this far, you gave me protections, you provided for me, you shaded me from all evils within my home and outside my home. You gave me a wonderful daughter whose heart is also synchronized for you, Lord. I want to do your work better from this moment. I have been doing this few had a condition also. Through me mothering them like their true biological mother, people reached out to me and said, God, you mean these kids are your sisters and not yours? And I said, whether my sister or not, they are children of the Lord. And as a mother, every child that comes to me, I treat like mine. But praise God, they are my biological family. King of glory, I just thank you that I am able to mother a child. But I needed to have so many kids, but the Lord did not allow it for a good purpose. And now, by the special grace of God, I have over 263 children in two selected primary schools in my village that I support. I am now a mother of 267, including Naomi. This is my project. I used to um, call it um, Sickle Cell Echo of Hope. But when I start to travel deep into Nigeria since nine years, I realized that I had to reshape my work for God. I realized that I didn't need to concentrate on sickle cell alone. I saw many mothers with their children in abject poverty. I saw children who are brilliant that will want to go to school. I saw young girls, young, my young, I call them my young daughters my young sons, teenage boys and girls, who have a dream, but where could they go with this dream without a guide? Their parents would have loved them to be doctors and nurses and engineers, but do they have the finance to support these children? I can't save the world, but I know I can save those that come close to me. I know I can help those that are quite closer to me. I know there are a bunch of them that I could hold for God. And then I decide to change my vision, Rather than concentrating on sickle cell, I, I re dream and I re also ask God direct me. So I now rebranded my charity called Echo of Hope Sickle Cell UK. I rebranded it to memory, memory of my families. I was a well brought up child from an affluent home. I went to private school. I was driven to school by different vehicles. My father was a big transporter. But I lost both of them three years back. My mother died 22 years ago. This man next with me 22 years, my mother joined the Lord. My father died 2012. And after they died, I needed also something, remembering how my parents brought me up. I was well brought up. I went to school, I went to private school, I, I wore the best clothes, I mingled with the best family. So I decided to rebrand my charity, calling it Aerio Echoes of Hope Initiative. The Aerio is actually my surname. The Echoes is, I want to reach out to the world. I want to spread my work. I want people to see the work I am doing for God. I want it to echo to every part of the world so that not necessarily people come in to help me with money, but I also want people to join suit. I want our mothers 
to be mothers of all children they find. I want our fathers not just to father their children. I want our government not just to look after their, their families alone. To remember there are those that are lowerly trodden, children that can that that has not even seen the urban area. They are locked away. They are called the lost generation. We need to do more. I want people to join me. You can volunteer to join the Rio Echo for, of, of Hope just by being part of us on, 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 on the system through the WhatsApp, through email, or you want to support, you want to provide books for the children, you want to provide sitting chairs for the children, you want to give uh, donations to help the market women, you want to say, I will train 100 people for your establishment, we will direct you to people who do the training. At Rio Echoes of Hope, we do not take cash from anybody. But if you want to support us, we will link you to organizations organizations that is doing the training of the youth. We will link you to the motherless baby home where we normally support with food and money. We will link you directly with the schools and see what you can help. Our schools here, you see, these are the two schools I support. The, the school below, the school below there doesn't even have a roof. But children who are willing to make tomorrow, they still get up and go. They walk probably three, four miles between their villages to get a school. But then without a meal in their tummy to come and the meal in their tummy to go back home. We can do so many to help these young ones, the great ones of tomorrow, the great preachers of tomorrow, the leaders of the world tomorrow. We need to help the children. Once again, I want this to go viral. I want whoever that wants to help, please, our details, you can always reach at the bottom. I can read it out. My UK numbers are 07956. 281321. My email is there. The charity email is there. You can call us on Nigerian number plus 4480227552535. Please reach us. You can reach us on WhatsApp as well. I'm on WhatsApp. The, the, the charity is in WhatsApp. If you call my Nigerian number, you will see this banner. If you call my London number, you will see this banner. And coming 4th of September, me and my daughter have said, God, I, I have no resources from nobody. But what I say to the Lord, for the fact that you make me wake and see every day, I am a well woman. I may take vitamins. That does not mean I am sick. I take vitamins to energize me. I have no condition known in this country that troubles me. It is the Lord's doing. Therefore, I said to the Lord, every year of my life, before I will celebrate one more year added to my year, I will celebrate my children. I will support these children. So please come join us. You also see the flyers on our um, WhatsApp line. You see the flyers. We are doing a program on the 4th of September. We already tagged it, Get Back to School Projects. You can see children, we will see it today in your classroom. Come the first time of the other year, they might not come. Why? Parents are not able to pay their school fees. Parents are not able to buy school books. Parents are not able to do what they've been doing. Life has challenges. Some of these parents were able to do so last semester. This semester, things may have changed. We want to help these children. We want to congratulate their effort that they are willing to go to school. Hence, they walk two, three miles within the villages to reach one school that is probably situated in a, a very landscape of land where the children need to go and learn. So please join us i say again 4th of september call our lines we are also prepared to train about 100 youths in any of their chosen skill in hairdressing fashion catering uh, the men of carpentry weathering shredding so many things we have on the pipeline you can call us and tell us how many you can support from these young ones get them off the street and i like to say finally i am waiting to be contacted and as you do so i know god will bless you be a mother of the motherless with mother. Thank you very much.